The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Money Masters. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Tom O'Brien and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. We appreciate your growling and prowling with us out here. Right now, we have the Dow Industrials down 47. You get the NASDAQ up 7. S&Ps are up 1.5. We have the gold contract down $3 at 12.52. Silver's down uh, 5 cents, $18.19. We get platinum down 2 bucks, 9.53 an ounce. Copper's flat, 2.66. Light sweet crude up 17 cents, $48.54 a barrel. We get oil numbers this morning, 10.30. Sure do. Um, bonds, 10-year note up five ticks, 124.17, 30-year note, 30-year bond rather, up nine ticks, 150.102. And both notes and bonds, folks. Bottom line is that uh, they rejected lower price once again. King dollar, King dollar is up by 316 ticks, 99.865. The euro is at 107. The yen is trading at 110.91. You had the UK uh, make the Brexit move. They have two-year negotiation now. Two-year negotiation, I know. And, you know, one of the, uh, I was listening to one of the guys on Bloomberg. He was great. He said, listen, everything in Europe takes years. So I don't, you know. Is everything in the United States quick? No. I'm like, why that, you say Europe? Just well, say, I, I, I know they said it. Yeah, I just laugh right, as in, right. should say government across the world takes forever to do anything. That, that's so that's a fact. So <laughs> if you think it's going to be two years, well, stay tuned, folks. I don't know. There's a deadline, though. What's, a, what's the, that's, that's a different case in terms of... Well, that's of, what they're saying, that there, there are deadlines, but yeah. they, can, they can extend the deadlines. Pretty wild. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Kevin Hicks, TD Ameritrade. Uh, and don't forget, folks, every trading day right here at TFNN, no matter where you're listening right now, you can get right on your cell phone, you go to tfnn.com, hit Tiger TV, Kevin Hicks, Scott Connor, they get an amazing show, swim lessons, 12 to 1 Eastern Standard Time, get it right on your cell phone. If you want to understand options, upside down, folks, this is the program. Kevin Hicks, what's going on? Good morning, Tom. Good morning, Tommy. How you doing, man? Good morning, Kevin. We're doing good. We're doing good. You know, it's funny. I think, Tom, the pressure for the, the, the Brexit and the, and the timeline has to do more with their election. Right. That makes sense. I think they've got an election in like two years or something like that. I, my, my, my dates yeah. might be wrong, but they've got an election soon that they'll want to close it before that. Yes. Is my opinion. Right. Oh, there's no doubt. Because right. that, you know, that. Yeah, because it can, it can change. In America, they're already talking about the midterms and how that's going to affect oh, things. Same exactly. you know, politicians always got to worry about getting reelected, so that's for right. sure, Kevin. Right. Definitely. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I, I believe we started talking about this earlier in the week, Tom. This health care vote's not done yet. Are you, know, are you, are you get, getting that feeling? Votes are starting to change. And, right. And I guess, there's no doubt. I mean, right. you know, the, the way that I'm looking at this whole thing is that nothing's done. <laughs> we right. hold on, hold on for the next few years because what everyone's tr starting to figure out is that this, the health care bill is a trillion dollars in taxes, and you can't get the the true tax cuts that you want without that first trillion in taxes and tax cuts that come from that health care vote. So I think you're going to see people, I think once this simmers for a few days, I think by the end of April, health care passes in, in the House. That that yeah that'll be pretty wild, man. I mean, yeah. uh, you know, that's my that's my. I'm on the record now saying that. That's a beautiful thing, man. Totally. Yeah. Well, they gotta get it. They gotta get it as quick as possible because the closer that you get to the midterm elections, yes. the the further then you know that that nothing's then gonna get done. Goes, then, then everything everyone starts hedging. Oh right? yeah, yeah, right. big time, big time. So well, I'll tell you what, we, we, we got some interesting numbers coming up. I, I, I see some, uh, I'm looking at my board today, Tom, some strength in uh, retail this morning. You got Nordstrom up, you got Macy's up, some, uh, so a couple bounces. You got TJX up. Yeah. You, you got strength in the, uh, in, the, in the retail sector. But I'll tell you what, we've got VIX sitting at 11 and a quarter. So what what's a good what's a good thing to talk about when you got VIX at eleven and a quarter? We're going to talk about Vega today. Okay, everything nice. about Long Vega. Yeah, and, and how to take advantage of these low 
low volatility levels. Which is, which is so important, folks, because when you listen uh, to swim lessons, depending on what market you're in, that, there's a strategy for that particular market, which is so cool. I mean, and you know what's cool, Kevin, is that when you look at those strategies, like n none of us, whether you're right all the time or wrong all the time, what happens, I think, with the strategies that you guys lay out, which is really cool, the market itself doesn't shift, like, very quickly. Well, when it does shift from, you know, um, being calm like this to volatile, yeah, it goes, but it can stay calm for periods of time. Then when it's volatile, yeah, you might have three or four months of volatility. So, you know, when you're laying those positions on, there's, there's a good probability that you're going to be right in the correctness of it as you stretch that line out. Right. And it, what it allows you to do, if you set up the right strategy, it allows you to take advantage of low vega, but have decay, have theta yes. coming in that allows you to be patient. That's what we like to talk about in these times. Yeah. Taking advantage. Don't try to fight fight the market right. doing you know short vega strategies when when the vix is 11 and a quarter that's that's no good right that's, that's like you know the right church wrong pew and and folks you know what you'll understand after you listened to uh, scott and kevin for a while the key is waking up every single day and decay is on your side <laughs> right <laughs> that's right. intense <laughs> right it's a beautiful thing. Listen, folks, right here, 12 o'clock. Kevin, we look forward to the show. Thank you so much for the update. We really appreciate it, man. Thanks for having me, guys. Have a great day. Have a great one. Have a safe one. You stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. We have the Dow down 45. NASDAQ is up 10. S&Ps are up 2. We're going to be right back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. 
We calls now. now. Toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 445 1044. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow Industrials right now are down 45. You get the NASDAQ up 9. SPs are up 250. And, folks, if you haven't test drove the Nadex platform, great time to do it. You can come over to our website at TFNN. Uh, and see how uh, you can hit the banner, bring up the exchange to put $25,000 of paper money into your account, and you can see how these defined option contracts trade. Uh, crude oil, uh, 10.30, the numbers come out. I didn't see the API numbers last night, but let's see where we stand right now. So we're at 48.65, right? Yes. Okay. So what we're looking for, folks, is volatility. Sure. So, you know, we're always looking where the ceiling or the floor maybe matches up. So 48.50 looks like that'll be our point, which is pretty close, 14 cents. We're dealing with the dollar fifty on each side. There's our positive one, right? There would be our negative one if we were locking. Now this is the 11 AMs. Right. And you know, when, when oil's at 48.65, these f floors and ceilings are realistically gonna either be on the 25 cent mark, you know? So you're not yes. gonna get any closer, really. You might get a 48.75 where that can shift it a little bit, where maybe you'll be a little bit bearish, but okay. you're gonna, you know, this just happens. There's not gonna be a ceiling and a floor at 48.64. You know, right. that's all I'm saying. So right. 48.50 is pretty close. Um, with this one, it's going to be a little bit bullish, right? Because yeah. we're 15 cents above. It's so too bad so and the bearish. <laughs> well, okay, That's so let's zone. just jump real yeah. quick. Let's just see, because last time we did it. Let's see where the 12 o'clock's line up. Now, that's going to be the same, 48.50. Just okay. real quick, I can see. Yeah. Maybe one more time. Let's just jump around real quick to the dailies. 48.50. Now, this is, you know, how big of a move do you want? We always look at the 11 o'clock. So you could take a daily, that then you're dealing with $3. Do you expect a $3 move? Because the 11 a.m. is only dealing with $1.50, right? right? Same amount of options. And then same, you want a $5 one. There's okay. a $5 one going from 48. Um, how big of a report are you expecting? So we'll jump back to the 11 o'clock. Yes. So just show yeah. the Because what will happen, folks, we're going to pay less money for the same trade, but less time, too. Right. Which yeah. doesn't make it the same trade. Just right. A, you know, right. Yeah. Um, so to the positive side, 48.50 to 50, we'd be buying it, right? To the negative side, we're selling it. 11 to the negative, 26 to the positive, and that's because you have 11, 12 dollars of intrinsic value to the positive side. Right, so, so 37 cents I'm dealing with. 37 cents, those are the 11 AMs, yeah. And so if we take a look at the, the market here, let's see. funny because I have 37 cents of movement that's 48.50 yeah and what I'm looking at is this it's a, so this morning folks we got up to 48.84 I'm thinking you can pull back to right there pretty easy which is 48.22 that's only 28 dollars yeah. just to put things in perspective I know which is which is not enough on the downside, right? Because I'm putting up 30 cents. I mean, cents, those, so aren't, lose, I mean, those aren't very far away. They're only 20 cents away from where we're at. Give I know. Take. No, I'm I know. Just, you know, I know. they aren't I know. big projections for right. for a news-driven event. You should no. be looking for bigger moves. Exactly. So that just, I'm going to pass on sure. that. Sure, um, We'll see where this uh, does shake out. In fact, here, let, let's see. See, I want to see... Uh, I can find the news from last night. Now that's April. You might want. Okay. Yeah, I'm just, I okay. want to see if I can get the API. You know? I, I'm just you can see these are only from like about oh, a half yeah, hour yeah, ago. Yeah, it would have been last night. Yeah. Now of course oil. You can see news coming through. Yeah. Um. Is that there? It is right there. API. API. Yeah. Rose 1.91 million barrels last week. Okay. Yeah. That was pretty close to their expected, I think. Okay. Yeah. And then same thing, just jumping back to the top. Because they're going to have the live. Top live, yep. So we'll jump back here, I guess. It's always interesting to see what they're coming out with as this is. Inventories of Cushing have been creeping back up, although the, although the API reported a 576,000 barrel decrease last week. This is just a Cushing, though. That's last week, yeah. Okay. 
But that just might be a Cushing. That's yes. not the total right. number. Right. Okay. Yeah. There's, the, there's, okay, so there's the API. So last night, it was crude was up 1.91 million barrels. Gasoline was down 1.1 million. Distilts were down 2.04 million. Yeah, and I, I, I'm not sure what the estimate is for the EIA. I'm pretty sure it's an estimate of a build, as in, you know, some positive, and then that'll set another record high for, for um, stockpiles. Yeah, which, which would make sense, because we, what we do have is that, um, you know, it was warm, right? And the real question is, is that uh, March 29th, it's like the heating season's almost over. You know, sure. up north, you know, which yeah. that's the, that I believe that that'd be well. That's the when you when you take a look at the that's right. That's at one fifty three. So that's the heating plus the jet fuel. That's diesel right there. You get natural gas up one point four five today. Uh, if we take a look at the NDX one hundred, you want to see a little rocket ship here. And this was this came across last night. Uh, it's still down from where it, it has been, that's for sure. But Vertex Pharmaceutical, that's up 20 bucks. And they got, uh, I believe... Yeah, they had some good news on one of their drugs. One of their drugs, yeah. Cystic fibrosis combo hits targets and trials. You talk about volatility, though. Look at this, this equity. I mean, it looks beautiful when you look at it as to where, it's, <laughs> where it is now. Uh, but you pull this back, and that just took some major heat. It just sure. went from 143... Down to 71. Pretty intense. Let's go to uh, Suzanne in Canada. Hey, Suzanne, what's going on? Uh, good morning, Tom and Tommy. How good are morning. you? I have a question regarding uh, GDX. I'd like to um, hear your take on GDX. I mean, NUGT. Okay, so uh, the GDX, folks, is the um, Market Vectors Gold Miners Trust. The low out here for the year is 18. The high is 31. You're trading at 22.92. Um, you know, you came down yesterday. You, you came down yesterday with 74 million. You're going into 150 million. Uh, the number that you want to see this get over is 23 dollars and four cents. Now you already you already own the NGGT, right? Yes. And when did you buy it? Um, Friday. Okay, so um, in, <laughs> I'm taking a heat, but uh, I just wanted to check with you if you know if I should take it or do I get out and wait for more retracement? Okay, let's take a look at it. So the NUGT folks is the Direction Daily Gold Miners three times levered position of the GDX. These are daily investment vehicles. Now, so the the heat that. Suzanne's talking about is that yesterday she took some heat because if she bought it Friday she had to buy it somewhere between 948 and 994 and then yesterday it came down to 877. I'd stay there right not right now today for sure. I mean you know um, you know the bottom line is if it closes under 877 get out. You know because you took 877 that 877 stop. Yeah because you took that heat yesterday so you know you already took the heat it's it's going the opposite way. What you want to see you want to see a close. Yeah, the NUGT today above 937. That's March Thank 15th. You. Yeah. Okay. Have a great one. Have Thank a safe you. one. You stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back with those oil numbers. Our phone number is 877 927 6648. Dow's down 51. NASDAQ's up 9. We're going to be right back. If you're looking to unearth a new financial resource and diversify your financial portfolio, consider the new market safe core commodity CD from Everbank. This five year US dollar denominated CD gives you exposure to four equally weighted commodities gold, copper, WTI oil, and sugar in one powerful CD. With no pricing caps, you can potentially earn an unlimited upside payment at maturity if the commodities increase in value across semi-annual pricing dates. And should the opposite occur, your principal is 100% protected. Keep in mind, returns are based on CD performance. There's no annual percentage yield or periodic rate of interest on this index CD. Don't miss out. With certain commodities on the rebound, now is the time to take advantage. The March 23rd funding deadline will be here before you know it. So call 1-855-750-4051 or visit everbank.com slash TFNN for the CD's term sheet and other important product details and disclosures. Once more, that's 1-855-750-4051 or visit everbank.com slash TFNN. This advertisement is sponsored content 
Everbank is a member FDIC. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, and a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, we just had, uh, let's see, oil went from what, 40... 850 to 48.83 right now, right? We'll see what these yeah. numbers are. And we got right here that there was a build of 867 versus an estimate of about 2 million, I think I saw there. Right. Um, less oil than they thought. Price is going up, right? That's what it looks like. That's, that's the first instinct for sure. We'll right. see where it shakes out. Now, it was intriguing about that is that would have been because we were, that trade was on the bullish side too. We had about a 10 or 11 penny head start to the bullish side. Right, yeah. right. And in theory though, just as that happened, it actually pulled back. Yeah. This is the 1025 bar. Okay. We actually went as low as 4853, which was almost square on where it would have been almost even. You know, it almost went yeah. back. This is where it would have no bias before the trade got initiated. And, and just so, I mean, it was under, it actually amounted before the news came out to like almost only eight pennies away from our point of, uh, We'll see what happens, but a nice 45, 50 cent move to the upside in the first about a minute and a half and 29 minutes to go for those 11 AMs. Yeah, no doubt. Uh, and market-wise out, out here, folks, uh, let's go take a look at the XLE and, and see if we uh, did any uh, juice into the XLE. So the XLE right now is up 58 cents. Yeah, it popped it too. Um, you know, we'll see whether it can get any juice. Um, behind it, what the XLE did do yesterday is that that came off the low and you had some good volume off that low yesterday. So we'll see how it attacks the 69.62. That's where it basically had broken down once again. And if we, let's see exactly what they have to say. So. Okay. So for the sixth straight week in a row, gasoline and distilled inventory both declined. Food stock build, but lower than expected, while Cushing does show a draw, but not as much as expected by the API. Yeah. And we go back over to this for a second. Let's see. Yeah. yeah. Whoa. Oh, it's the same one. I see. Okay. 48. It's the same one. 
No, it, when it, when it was first there, all I could see is a green, all oh, green. Okay. I thought it was going up even further. It is. It's now fifty, almost sixty cents higher. That's a, it's another fifteen cents higher since we. Oh, okay, okay. That's. Good. Let's go over to our man Mike and some of them. Hey, Mike, what's going on, brother? Hey, Tom and Tommy, how's your day going today, boys? It's going, going better good. now with you on the phone, man. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, guys. Uh, listen, Tom. Tom, I I can't get too deep into this conversation right now, but there's nobody in the world whose opinion I value more than yours. And well, I, I appreciate I'm, I'm, it. I'm, no, buddy. This is this is life stuff I'm talking about here, buddy. It's life. And um and the decision that I have to make is based on the bond. And I, I would love. I actually would, if I could ever talk to you on a personal level then i would explain to you the decision i have to make you know what i mean yeah because because the bonds going up is going to affect a decision very big in my life so are you getting a mortgage <laughs> uh, i mean no it, no okay no no that's that's what i'm saying it's it's nothing that could be talked about on the air okay you know what i mean well but um my, my take right now is that you know is that the interest rate structure is still going to stay low, you know. I mean, and you'll hear me screaming out here when I think it's different. <laughs> um, you know, the, the amazing part about these bonds is that, you know, like let's say in the last ten years, I've been bearish twice on them, and both times like, oh my God, this this just doesn't want to stop. And I know that, you know, this is it's counterintuitive that these rates want to stay low, particularly with the Fed going up. And and I've been in markets, you know, when the Fed goes up. I've seen them go up seven, eight, nine times in a row. I mean, the last time that it went up, he went. They went up fourteen times, which is that's when it, you know that was two thousand and four to six, I believe. Okay, um, but it. Yeah. You know. <laughs> you it, see, my 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 decision actually has to be made in two days. That's why I would never <laughs> ever put this on anybody in life. You know what I'm saying? But there's well, a chance that it could go my way if. Because I think you're thinking there's going to be a like a, a bump in the bonds. You know what I'm saying? It just like, our bonds are still high as to the aspect for the world. Okay, so let me switch gears on you. The way that if you're making some kind of lifetime decisions, the way that I try to do it myself is this: is that let's say that you can have something right here and right now, and have it in your hand. Okay, so so watch and have it in your hand. Versus yeah. taking a risk, and you'd be happy with that, versus taking a risk that, you know, you could have a lot less or a lot more in the future. Most times I'll, I'll say, okay, I don't like that risk. I'll take this right here if I'm happy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah. That's, 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 a, that's a big deal. I mean, you know, but that's, you know, that's where I stand when I'm looking at things. You know what I mean? I, I like taking a risk with money that, number one, I don't, you know, can have risk money, and I want smaller money for bigger deals. But when it comes down to what is in my hand and what I can do with that, so let, let, let's just say if you have a thousand dollars, right? And if I say, okay, that thousand dollars is good for me. If I have twelve hundred, is that going to change my life? No. If I have eight hundred, it's going to change my life. I say I take the thousand. Sure. That's I hear you. no, but you're, you're actually you're, uh, you're that's what it is, buddy. We're from the same part of the country. I'm you're, I don't even have to talk to you, and I'm talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> That's a beautiful you're thing, right? It's you're, you're completely understanding what my just what I'm talking about, Tom. You know what I'm saying, buddy? Yeah. <laughs> but anyways, like I said, I, I don't. I, I I would never never you know hold anybody or put it put put any any decision on anybody like that. It's all on me. But uh, you know, like I said, I was just kind of wondering. Like you do think like the bonds. Uh, are gonna bounce like I know we're at kind of like a, uh, yes. a reflection point, and your your your, your opinion is they, they, they I know what you're saying. In the end, I think you think they're going back down, and I agree. You know what I mean? That's inevitable, right? Um, it it, it seems inevitable, but guess what? I would have told you that. Six years ago. <laughs> I know, buddy. I've been listening to you for probably 15, 20 years. So yeah. I know. <laughs> you know, so, you know, when you look at this on a longer term basis, we're still in a bull market in bonds and it started in 1980. You know? I, uh, and I when you look at the, the aspect of, you know, where, where we are, what 
The percentage rate is in the United States versus the rest of the world. We have a big percentage rate. The economy would have to pick up a lot for people to be willing to pay five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten percent. Yeah. Just to, okay. So that has to gel, you know. Yeah. Well, okay, just Tom, just on a short-term basis, when the Fed raised, right? And of course, we know this because we listen to you. Like, like, in other words, th that should have affected them the opposite way, but it didn't that day. They went the other way, right? The way I want them to go, right? But that, the market already knew that was coming. Yeah, Mike, that's what you know what yeah. I mean. That's where that was already priced in. It's, you know, it's so obvious that the rate hike was coming when it came that the market actually said, man, we're just glad it wasn't more. Right. So that's what right. happened there. So they know, yeah. right. like the market, it's already priced in that one. At least one or two right. is priced in there. So don't think that one more rate hike, you're going to get something. At least one's priced in, if not two. And then they just look for if it's going to be three or four, that's where it would scare them. Right. Right, right, right. I got you guys. I got you. Listen, like I said, I, I appreciate you guys. Thank you very Mike, much. Mike, thanks okay. as always, man, and hope it goes well. All right. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I come right back. Dow's down 31. Nasdaq's up 17. Does the current market volatility continue to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's n-a-d-e-x.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of tfnn.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. So Dow right now uh, is down to 34. You get the Nasdaq up 17. S&Ps are up 5. If we take a look uh, inside the uh, Dow Industrials and the indices to see the strength versus the weakness, uh, strength out here today, you have uh, United Technologies, uh, I mean, United Healthcare taking the 10 points out of the Dow. Travels has taken seven. Home Depot's taken six. IBM's taken five. Putting into it as uh, Walmart is putting in four, four. Nike, three. Merck, three. Chevron, two. Inside the NDX 100, 
The leader out here is uh, Vertex. That's up 23%. Regeneron's up 3%. Uh, Dollar Tree is up 2.3. 2.9%. Uh, 2.9, rather, yeah. Uh, taken away from it uh, is Biogen. That's down 1.5. Uh, Paychex is down 1.4. NetTease is down uh, 9 tenths. Um, if we go over to, uh, oh, look at this. <laughs> Our favorite retailer. Amazon's at all-time highs. Where's that from today? Anything? I don't know. Maybe What's some this? news. Up 11 bucks. Nope. Just, they're buying it. You get Amazon folks trading at 867, breaking its high. And uh, we'll see whether we get, uh, you get volume, on, if, if you get volume more than 4.3 million, it's another ABC up. It's like, really? <laughs> And as I left the house this morning, right, um, what do you think was there? Amazon. <laughs> Monster order from Amazon. So, you know, it's, I, I was, when I was inside the house, it's in, in our neighborhood, I, I don't know if this is every neighborhood, but it's the post office delivering. You know, I saw the little truck pull up. Sure. Right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's not just your neighborhood. Yeah. What are you saying? Right. No, yeah. I just don't, you know. I, oh, majority of the time. I mean, that's. They now have Sunday delivery during the holidays yeah, just for just for them. Amazon. I mean, right, you know, right. Yeah. every postal truck you see on the the road is just full of Amazon. Yeah, amazing. That's it. Really is amazing. Yeah. Uh, if we go over, and I believe Apple's at all time highs too. Yeah. App, well, Apple popped yesterday. Now Apple did uh, the 33 million versus 39. So Apple's not an ABC up, but bottom line is that uh, it went up and uh, it. That's it. Also, all-time highs. Google. Let's go take a look at Google. Google. You know, it's up seven and a half dollars, but this is coming right into a nice downdraft. That downdraft on Google. Google went down quick, man. This eight fifty-three down to this uh, eight oh three. Uh, and you know, Tesla yesterday when that uh, that company came in. You know, the, 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 I heard on Bloomberg, uh, it's Tencent. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Tencent. That's okay. The, that's, oh, okay. Yeah. Tencent. I know. It, it, it spelled out Tencent, but like when you first look at it, you say, that can't be it. Sure. You know? Um, you talk about putting a few dollars into that, and that's... Sure. They need cash, so that's a good thing for that company. They need cash, no doubt. And that, if you bring Tesla back, let's see. Look at the threat of... So Tesla's been consolidating since February of 2014. Yeah, like three years. Yeah, right at these levels. Man, he's, he's a machine. He's a, a money accumulating machine in order to basically push that money out. It's pretty amazing. I mean, sure. It, when you think about how many things he does, um, meaning companies. Yeah, you know, oh, for sure. Pretty amazing. SpaceX and that. Yeah. yeah. Not to uh, mention he got his beginnings in PayPal. Yeah, right. We take a look at the uh, higher volume stocks out here. We have your Bank of America's up four cents. Uh, Ford's up 11. Uh, Athena is down 15. Vertex is the big mover. Uh, Marathon Oil is up 64. You get Facebook up 17. Let's see what good old Facebook is doing. I saw an article this morning and uh, uh, they're saying that Facebook is. Uh, SN going to be the has Snap worried. Well, that, that was they the have similar was. stuff going on in their in their platform. Yeah, yeah, right. And is that is that is that newer? It's been there for a while, or I think it's new. You know, okay. relatively. I don't. But right. yeah, right. That's where you see that. You know, it's like do they have technology that you can't mimic? Not sure. Facebook no. has it, but right. the Snapchat, right, right, right. You know, for the long haul, right. We'll see. Right, no yeah. doubt. Uh, we go take a look at the, let's go to the take a look at the dollar out here. So the dollar, you know, got a good bounce yesterday. You're up uh, 366 today. You're 17,000 contracts. Now this, folks, right now, as long as the volume stays low, is a complex ABC down, and that won't change as long as the the volume characteristic doesn't change. And what a complex is ABC down is that you break the B point, which we did. We broke the B point on Monday with volume. The B point being 93.340, a uh, 99 rather, 0.340.
Then you get on the other side of it again. And as long as you come up with light of water on the other side, it's like, okay, you still have an ABC down. It wants to at least test the bottom, and we'll see whether it comes back at you again. You know, it, it, in order to get into much higher price, meaning in the 100 area, meaning about 100.320, that's going to need some big volume. You're going into 47,000 contracts there. So uh, we take a look at the euro. That's down pretty good today. And that's going to be interesting to see how that shakes out. And we'll bring up the pound, which we never bring up. But first, I want to bring up the yen and the correlation of... So the yen's having a hard time holding price. The yen right now is just flat, down eight ticks. Let's see what happened to the Nikkei last night. Because you had... Not current, right? Yeah, you had... Oh, uh, it? Um, it yeah, it sometimes anyway. it will okay. do it for you. Uh, he had divergence the night before because the Nikkei was getting strong, or got stronger, uh, because yet the Nikkei went up by 200 bucks. So last night he just had a flat Nikkei. And... Oops. One more time. Yeah, oh. I'm, I'm, I forget the symbol. G B P. Nope, BP. Great Britain pound, right? G, B, P. Oh, cool. Now I remember it. Great Britain pound. That's easy. Okay, so the pound's trading 124. So that's not bad either. Meaning it, it, is, it was just like that. The market knew that this was the day. Ooh, but look at that when you actually look at that in a long-term basis. Man, we all might as well go to London. Look at that. The pound was at 200 and... 208. 208 to 11, yeah. To one U.S. dollar. Now you're only at 121. Wow, that's losing quite a bit of money. <laughs> We're going back over a decade. Yeah, oh Lots no. Lots happened in a decade. Right. That, that's I mean, right. just in terms of global currencies, you look at, I bet we look at a lot of currencies on a 10-year scale that wealth has transferred in terms of countries, right? Yeah. Well, the thing that's amazing is that where my head's going with that is like London real estate went up dramatically, but. You know, this is just right, like... That's we, like the FTSE went up. I know. Right. And even, like, you know, that's dramatic, but I mean, really, you know, from this level, which they're talking about, you're talking about from 150 in June. Yeah. Down to 124. Right. I mean, that's a huge cut in no time. Ten right. years, it isn't as staggering <laughs> just because realistically, you know, it's the same. You know, we're talking about only 165. It was really, you know, it was at 140 in 2009. So over eight years, it's only down 15 cents is another way to put it. Yeah. But... 2008 was a rough year. <laughs> wow. Unreal. You stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. And we got our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, coming up at 11 o'clock. That's Dow? Right. Yeah, big time. Dow down 32. NASDAQ up 16. SP's up 6.5. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD. Directions Daily CSI 300 China A Share Bull and Bear ETFs. China A Shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of The Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. 
Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has put together the finest live programming lineup each trading day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected financial minds in the nation to educate traders and investors. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we broadcast nine hours a day starting at 8 a.m. as John Logan kicks us off each trading day with a global market pulse. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we broadcast 11 hours. Get an early and healthy start to your day as Nico and Paige bring you Living a Primal Lifestyle. Then catch Andy Hecht at 5 p.m. with the Commodities Hour. Following the Tom O'Brien Show, Mondays and Fridays, catch live trading on the Nadex platform with host Tom and Tommy O'Brien, along with Daryl Martin on the Bull Bear Binary Option Hour. See the TFNN program lineup via the link on the front page of TFNN.com to get a complete overview of our TFNN shows and hosts. And keep TFNN's Tiger TV tuned in on your mobile device, PC, or Mac for the latest financial news and information throughout the broadcasting day. TFNN, educating investors. Catch Basil Chapman as he uses his Chapman Wave methodology to call the markets. The Tiger Technician's Hour, next on TFNN. Welcome back, folks. The Dow right now uh, is down 30. You get the Nasdaq up 18. S&Ps are um, up 6.5. And, and as you just heard, I'm uh, Mr. Basil Chapman. Uh, is going to be out here a growling and problem with you uh, for the next hour. If we go back to that uh, oil market for a second, oil's holding. Oil's holding. Yeah, that, so uh, it's about 60 cents above there. It caught, trade would have cost 37, 39. Call it even 40 with commissions one way, right. you know, both ways. Right. Yeah, you're looking at 60. So that'd be almost a 50% profit. Not bad. And uh, no, I was going to say, yeah. And that's over in like five minutes. Yeah. yeah. And as you come over to our website, at TF, TFNN, folks, uh, what you're going to see uh, right on the front page, of course, our man, Mr. Larry Pesavento. Uh, Larry is doing a workshop uh, with Rich Anderson. And this workshop, uh, it's hard to believe, we're talking April, and it's going to be a week from yesterday. It sure is. Yeah. Um, 6 to 7 o'clock uh, Eastern Standard Time, and, but that workshop is going to be about is how to trade the USDA planting report, which is going to be out on the 31st. So, of this month, yeah. Yeah, so that's tomorrow, right? Uh, no, two days. Two days, okay. I'm ahead of myself here. Yeah, yeah that's so Friday. Today's and that's Wednesday. So he's right. doing it Tuesday. Okay, yeah. cool. Report comes out Friday. He'll take a look at it over the weekend, and then Tuesday evening with Rich, Rich Anderson, he'll do that 60-minute uh, webinar. Right. And the way it works, folks, is that, um, you know, Larry has a great newsletter, Fibonacci 24 by 7. Uh, you can get the newsletter plus the workshop for only $97 for the month. If you'd like to just go to the workshop, you can do that also for $79 a month. So check it out uh, today, tomorrow, over the weekend. Uh, I'm sure it's going to be a, a great workshop. And this is the, uh, this is like the big deal, right? Oh, yeah, no, that was a big time. He was talking yeah. about it in terms of, you know, there, there's a lot of commodity traders, and they're going to be looking at futures, options, and... Um, how to play those trades. Right. And then you saw I was jumping to some yeah. Nico and Page this month. So speaking of this the 31st it. being wow. the end of the month, Friday, uh, Primal Edge. So you can save $25 on your first bottle. Normally it is $89 a month for you sign up for the monthly ship and $64. And that includes shipping, one-time payment. We'll send a bottle out to you and cancel it anytime. Within 30 nice. days, you don't want the next bottle. Right. And, um, I know you've been taking it. I've yes. taken it. It's a great, it's a great, uh, it's a great daily nutritional supplement. Yeah, it's good. It's a good, it's a good vitamin. No it doubt. is. And if you haven't checked out their program, Tuesdays and Thursdays, 7 a.m., Nico and Paige, good stuff for if sure. If you really want to, yeah, you can learn so much about, like, your body. Definitely. Yeah, and it's amazing. I mean, it's a, it's a shame that schools haven't given us more of that when we're young. Sure, you know what I mean? definitely. It's, it's really, we're just a machine. you got to keep it oiled. Definitely, man. You keep that machine oiled. Definitely. So you stay right there, folks. We got our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, coming up next. And you know, uh, percentage-wise, out here, uh, market's kind of just laying there. You know, you, you have the S and P up uh, one tenth of a percent, Nasdaq up two tenths, uh, Dow down um, almost two t two tenths. And you know, we are at the beginning of window dressing and the end of the quarter. So you you know, you get both happening. Window dressing, of course, is every month. Now, the end of the quarter is more important uh, for money managers because they get paid on where this closeout comes tomorrow. Okay. Uh, no, Friday night. Friday night, meaning that the amount of money that's in the accounts, Friday night, that's where it's going to get marked to market. And, you know, so there's definitely a bullish bias there, you know. And the real question is, 
for money managers is that how much do they hedge at that point say okay you know have, have we done so well and i want to take some off or oh, guess what have we done some well i think it's going to go higher the next one so you know yeah um yeah it's all of the above and then of course at the end of every month where the window just comes in is that you have the, the first of the month all that ira money comes in just the people that buy like you know scaling you know on a monthly basis whether yeah. it's a hundred dollars that goes in two hundred dollars that goes in that adds up to uh billions of dollars definitely you stay right there folks i'm mr basil chapman's going to be coming up next and of course then we're going to think swim headquarters steve rhodes dave white i'll be back this afternoon dow's down 38 nasdaq's up 14 s p's are up five and a half thanks pal thanks man Wow! go get them folks <laughs>Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com.